Well, there are things that you probably will agree with me and not agree with. First things first is, I feel like there's something good, okay? You're anticipating it, and you're looking at, I feel like it's more of a career actually. Um, something related to your money, your finances is improving. I see that there's a, your person wants to take, I feel like, you, to, you know, to, for you guys to go out. But you want something serious, but they want to s stay in the casual. You're ready for the commitment. They're kind of backing, it's like backing out with this, is what I'm seeing. Okay, Taurus, welcome to my channel. How are you guys doing? I'm Sal, I do the readings here every day for your career finances and your relationship. I also do sidereal astrology, Vedic. Um, for people who's not familiar with my astrology. So if you're doing um, Western, try not to correct me because we follow different astrology. Let me just get your chart. And at the same time, I teach people how to manifest using different kinds of gemstones and crystal. Once I t start talking about astrology, um, it is best to follow the moon sign or the ascendant because uh, we follow the, that's what we follow in sidereal astrology in Vedic. Okay. There we go. I see here right now for the Taurus, it's more of like practicality. You you have more logic than ever. You see things the way it's supposed to. Grounded. Your person was grounded in the beginning. They have a Queen of Pentacles, perfect match for you. You're a King of Pentacles. Like it was it was the, the shizzle. Then there's a King of Wands. So they're showing right now, because the King of Wands is desire, passionate, you know, the fun, you know. They want to have fun, oh, which is good. I feel like the two of you have the same, you know, some similar things in common. Um, hobby, going vacation, night out can be, or going to nice dinners. Um, very, very fun and loving energy from what I'm seeing here with the Sun card. But this is more of like how initially it started. When you met them, it was it. It was good. There's no doubt about it. The sun card is your soulmate also. Okay. I'll make an extended reading to this also. I know the Taurus has been dying for me to go in depth with their reading. You want to break the ice. You want to talk to them. Because the Page of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles here, you want to ask them, like, are we going to get serious about this? Uh, I see here that, you know, this is an offer, engagement, of course, the future, the partnership, where the Ace of Pentacles with the Page of Wands, it's more of like uh, breaking the ice, but you're very skeptic because you don't want to be rejected. Mars right now is in Scorpio in your seventh house. Of course, this is going to be good considering that the seventh house is, uh, you know, ruler of the seventh is Mars. Ruler of your partnership is Mars. However, when Mars sits in the seventh, we call this, it loses its um, uh, strength over here, directional strength, basically. It drowns in the seventh. It's a, um, not dagda, but I forgot the right term for um, Mars in the seventh. Like, this is not the best placement for Mars with regards to houses. Mars here becomes celibate. Mars here, because the partnership house is, you know, it's supposed to be like Venusian. You cooperate, you build, there's love, there's harmony, but Mars is not like that. So it drowns here in the seventh house. Okay. And that's probably your feeling with a page of one, uh, with a uh, page of ones over here. Like if you break the ice, you know you might lose this person. Or the connection and it's very important to you because for me with the sun and the ace of pentacles as above so below this is something that you have waited for forever to manifest oh there you go maranakana sana so there's the maraka houses which is the death houses and then there's the mks we call it so you can you know google it more if you have this placement in your chart so you're more aware what is an mks mm -hmm. Different planets has uh, placements that is uh, not suited for them. There we go. Just what is expected. King of Cups with the Three of Swords. You guys have separated ways. You didn't even ask anymore. I don't see a Taurus. It's more of like it's a, it's, it is what it is. This is what you're saying to yourself. 
the heartache and the heartbreak. It can be with a Scorpio. You also have to understand the nature of the relationship that you guys have. It's always going to be Scorpionic. A lot of secrets. There's a lot of passion, yes, but there's always something obsessive about it because that's the nature of that house. And putting a secret, you know, natural eight house secret and then you put it in partnership, then you always probably are finding out some sort of affair with your person. Betrayal with the Three of Swords. You want to confront them because you're hurt. But they feel like it's a waste of time. They refuse to talk to you. They refuse to cooperate. They refuse. Before, if it's casual, they'd see you right away. Like, you text them, it's like, yeah, you know, I'm down. But now that you want something serious and you found out, of course, that they could be talking to some, oh, someone else. I feel like you want to put the nail in the coffin here. And it's you're in the crossroads of, like, are we going to continue this or we're done? Hi, I'm Sal. That's Sal too. Four years ago, zero money and zero love. I went to my healing though, and I found out a little secret. Double Piao helps. This is our specific crystals that is made to manifest love and protect your money. Go get yours at itreedlove.me. Now that's the judgment. This is a reconciliation with the sun card. And the eight of pentacles is a focus. So you want to focus on working this. For the past year, um, I have shared with everyone um, two of the things that I, you know, is a staple for, for me to have every, you know, every day around me or wear it every day is our love and money magnet, uh, double Piao, 18 karat gold for me. The pink opal and the cherry quartz help you with relationship. And then obsidian and citrine, of course, blocks negativity, attracts prosperity. This is a 50% off now. And at the same time, it is a free shipping in the US and it comes with a free, um, uh, money magnet charm right here okay so you can check it out we ship to more than 80 countries across the globe and how to use this um, specific uh, bracelet um, there's a free class there now the judgment here with your ooh, you're tired you're very very tired it's almost as if like you just want to pack your bag and you know say goodbye and get on with it this is what you're saying but your person got you thinking, or they you got them thinking when you put them on the spot with a judgment. And then the Ten of Wands is the burden. When you aired your feelings, can be to a Leo or an Aries. The Capricorn is there. And now you're saying, like, finally, I have expressed myself, Sal. And it felt good. But of course, you know, you know the next step. If they don't respond the way that you planned or the way that you were thinking, then you know it could be the you know a dead end now, which you have a three of swords. But with a sun card and a judgment, I feel like you're more on to like working things out. Because you know, the sun is your joy, meaning it gives you energy, this person and and this relationship really fulfills a lot of your, let's just say check uh, you know, um, boxes. But it's tiring to be in a relationship where it's one-sided in a ten of wands. When it's only you. And I feel like ten of wands is continuously like putting in the effort. It's a challenge. Very, very challenging. Now. Hmm. Because it does look like. Oh, a big change is about to happen here. And it's being directed to your person either speaking and expressing their truth. Because there's an obstacle that's going to be taken away. And one thing that when I when I work with obstacle or I try to remove obstacle, um, let's just say first you have to work with your environment in the house, you know, decluttering. It's very, because this is also a house, you know, the towers don't normally move. So declutter and of course the double piao, of course it helps to remove any obstacles. An obstacle will be removed in this, oh, okay. And then there's this message that you're waiting for. Let's dive deeper in the extended reading. Link in the comments. I'll see you on our website at eatreadlove.me. 
Hold on, hold on. You're here already and I have a free class for manifestation of love and money. And if you are serious, there's a free class in the description box below. Join me and learn more on how to manifest with P.O.S.